It's October 15th, 1.30 in the afternoon, and I just decided that I'm gonna go for a overnight bike packing trip. I'm not prepared at all. I haven't looked at the weather or anything. So it's really nice out right now. It's 83 degrees out, um, but let's see what the overnight down to 54. That should be, that's really no problem at all. My bike, it's a 1983 Specialized Stump Jumper Sport. And uh, got a rack and panniers, frame bag, and then I just got this basket. I'm waiting on uh, confirmation to see if my buddy Dan is going to come along or whether or not I'm going up alone. Head up uh, the Boulder Creek Path, about four mile to uh, Salina to the Switzerland Trail. Um, this side has a bunch of BLM land and that's where I'm going to go camping. So, should be sweet. There's my puppy. like four miles away from where I want to camp and this is behind me which is absolutely gorgeous. I don't think you can tell but the moon is so bright that I'm actually casting a shadow behind me. I just made it. Uh, no one was at the site that I, that I come to a lot. The moon is amazing. Look at that. It's almost as bright as my headlamp. Uh, just about to set up. Uh, my tent. When I got here, this um, this beer that I'm drinking had a hole in it. So, gonna gonna just drink it. So, cheers. So it's like 8:15. Um, just got my tent all set set up and squared away. I use I use just the rainfly without the inner portion of the tent. Uh, like without the inner screen because normally it's not very buggy. Uh, let's check it out. So I got a little headlamp up there. Got my tent all, or my sleeping bag all rolled out. Let that fluff up and and this is the this is the view from my from my tent tonight. Uh, get my food made up here. I just finished uh, cooking dinner and uh, it smells delicious and looks pretty good. This is the true hobo dinner right here. Shout out to this meal. Just after 10 in bed because it was starting to get a little bit chilly outside and wanted to be in my warm sleeping bag so here I am, probably gonna fall asleep soon. <clears throat> I just finished descending down Switzerland Trail uh, and Roger and I took our first uh, took our first tumble. Uh, we were coming down and I don't know if you remember yesterday I maybe I showed some video of where I had my uh, mug, my coffee mug mounted. It was 
on my paneer and uh, I don't know, today I must have set it up differently because it the mug swung into the wheel and broke three spokes and uh, sent sent me over the bars and well, thankfully it just got some scuffs on my hand but I was primarily concerned about the bike and and I didn't know if I was hurt either and so I didn't take any video or photos or anything I just looked at the looked at the bike and kept going because I also don't have service out here so it's not like I uh, could just decide to call someone so yeah like five miles of descending down um, the rest of the trail so I just went very slowly and picked my way through the best lines and now I just have some gravel and, and some trail and hopefully I'll be able to make it home uh, this is all that happened happened to the mug. So at least it has character now. So I made it home uh, without any problems and the wheel wheel held together and I guess uh, next step is figuring out whether I want to just replace a few spokes or get a new wheel maybe. All in all, it was a fun trip, like last night, the moon, the night, at night, the moon made it all. Like, the moon was so bright and pretty. So that, that might have been my last camping trip, or bike camping trip at least, this, this fall, I don't know. We'll see if we get any more decent weather, whatever. <laughs>